A wise man once said, each betrayal starts with trust. On today's case, Mrs. Hall says her husband broke that trust almost as soon as they got married, and it's been downhill ever since. Now she says she's forced to question his every move, because when it comes to Mr. Hall and his whereabouts, things rarely seem to add up. She says she is tired of being with a liar and a cheater, and she is ready to walk out today. Let's hear their case. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Starr presiding. Your Honor, this is the case of Hall versus Hall. Thank you very much. Mrs. Hall, you say your marriage is falling apart and there is only one person to blame, your husband. You say you are done being played for a fool and today you want divorce papers served. Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Hall, you admit your behavior has contributed to the demise of your relationship, but you say your wife hasn't made the last 12 years easy. You are hoping to save your marriage. Yes, Your Honor. Okay, this... You all have played a lot into this relationship. You do not have children yet. However... We need to see if there's still a reason to stay together. Mrs. Hall, you brought this case. Why are we in court, ma'am? I'm here, Your Honor, because I have no doubt in my mind that we shouldn't be together anymore. He's a liar. He's a cheater. He's sneaky. And I just can't trust him anymore. And without trust, I don't see why two people should stay in a marriage. Mrs. Hall says, Mr. Hall, you have reached that trust, and she does not know if she can ever get it back. What do you say, sir? Your Honor, I'm here today to fight for my marriage and to be with my wife. And it's nothing else that I can do at this point except show her that I do love her and that I'm willing to do whatever she needs for me to gain her trust back. So we need to see if that's even a possibility. Mrs. Hall, why don't you take me back a little bit to how you all met and what actually got us here to court today, ma'am? I remember the day we met. I was standing outside of a school. I was 16 years old when I met Lewis. And he came around the corner with his friends driving, pretending to do a drive-by, and it scared all of my friends that were with me, except for myself. So, in passing, we just happened to be in the same area one day, and we saw each other at the gas station. So, he took my phone and called himself so he can have my phone number, and we've been together ever since. Um, Mr. Hall, when yes, you Ron. first started dating, everything was all peaches and cream, right? For me, um, I actually knew I was going to marry this woman, and she was the, the love of my eye when I first seen her before she even seen me. So she was with somebody that didn't deserve her, and I stepped in and actually showed her that I did want to be with her. So let me find out what made this thing change, because it sounds so cute the way you all started out. Well, Your Honor, two years into our relationship, my phone rang. It was a number that I didn't recognize, so I didn't answer it at first. They called right back. So I answered the phone. It was a girl telling me that she was four weeks pregnant with Lewis's baby. Now, when I confronted him about it, Your Honor, yes, Ooh. I confronted him about it, and of course he denied it, but I knew that there was something there because nobody's just gonna say that they're pregnant. You had to have some type of intercourse or something like that. So eventually, he did admit to the cheating, but I found out later that the girl was lying about being pregnant. So she just wanted you to know... She wanted me to know that... that she he... was with your man. Right. Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Hall, who was this? Your Honor, this is a female from my past. I'm going to be honest, I don't even know her name. I was young at the time, and I guess she seen me in the, in the relationship with Mrs. Hall at the time. And no doubt in question, it wasn't my child. And it's the reason that we're here t today. It's, it's been, like, ongoing ever since that occurred. My wife hasn't tr trusted me or hasn't actually given me the benefit of the doubt. So, a random woman, let's call her Becky. Yeah. Becky calls and tells Mrs. Hall that she has been in an intimate situation with you. It was a one-night type of thing, um, but I was more scared of losing San Teresa at the time because... But what was going she on was with you that made... She was basically throwing it in my face that he was cheating. Right. And I... I, I didn't like that, Your Honor. Oh, no. But, so, basically, it, you it gave... It wasn't a relationship with me and her. But wait, you gave random behind Becky a two-hour trick, the opportunity to... To be able to make me look stupid. Ooh, there you go. That was it. Thank you for filling in the blank. I apologize, but that, that was me being young at the time. And that's why I feel like we shouldn't be still talking about that at this point. Because it happened how many years ago? But well, there are other things, Your Honor. He, he hasn't done anything really to prove to me that he can be faithful. So, 
One day, we had gotten into an argument or whatever. Lewis was asleep. I decided to go through his phone. There were all types of females in his phone, Your Honor. In my defense, And Your text Honor. messages. And one of the girls in his phone was named as Baby Mama. We don't have any kids, Your Honor, and he doesn't have any kids that I know about. She was listed as Baby Mama? Right, and he had promised to get rid of all these people and not text anybody and to be faithful, but now that I go through your phone, oh, I see all of these people, these women. Y Your Honor. Now I come to you, Mr. Hall. In my defense, half of the numbers that was in my phone were people that I haven't talked to in years. I just basically didn't delete it when I swapped my phone from being on one line to another. The fact that I didn't erase or delete numbers, basically, my wife accused me automatically when she seen the number that she said was that paid on the baby mother. That does not explain you having somebody mean I'm named cheating. baby mother. That doesn't mean that I was cheating either. That's the point that I'm trying to make. How is it old, Your Honor? Because the, the first time I looked in his phone, I did not see any numbers that said baby mama. Who is baby mama? She's no longer in my life. She's her phone number is no longer in my phone, and it's no. But what was your relationship? We were friends. I'm not gonna lie. Why would you name somebody else, baby mama, when you're in a relationship? You're right. With the now Mrs. Hall. So nope. you see, there was a method to me asking you all these specific yeah. questions. I was young at the time and wasn't thinking of how it would affect Mrs. Hall, and I apologize. No, he wasn't thinking, and it still hurts to this day, Your Honor, because. We have been through a lot, and we've had fertility issues. And for him to even think about calling somebody else his baby mama when he know what we've been through and what we're still facing... And it... I still want you to have my child and nobody else. You never had my number saved as baby mama. Because you're my wife, and I look at you more than just a baby mother. Yeah, but you shouldn't be looking at anybody as baby mama. Unless, of course, it is your actual baby mama. You're right, Your Honor. Okay? Because it's either fantasy baby mama or actual baby mama. Otherwise, I don't know why you would put her name down there as baby mama. I don't know why I did it either. It was stupid, honest. Yeah, and so Mrs. Hall has every reason to be upset about that. Yes, ma'am. So that shouldn't have never occurred. I should have never been able to see any of that going through your phone. I tracked his location and I knew who this woman was. So I went to her house and I knocked on her door. Ooh. Imagine waking up and you got somebody with a ski mask on looking at you like they about to rob you. I'm serious, Your Honor. I was so scared of my wife this day. You didn't tell me you showed up looking like a ninja. That's crazy. About two months ago, his phone was ringing and it was from an email address. And that's very weird. And it was a, a video chat call. So I answered it, and it was a woman. And she was looking at me with this shocked face, like, oh, my God, like, it's you. It's like she already knew, like, who I was. And I track his location, and I'm able to see where he is. So I had her location. I knew who this woman was. So I went to her house, and I knocked on her door. Oh. She didn't answer, but I went there. Your Honor, when this situation occurred, I was asleep. Imagine waking up and you got somebody with a ski mask on looking at you like they about to rob you. I'm serious, Your Honor. I was so scared of my wife this day. And I'm looking at her and she's basically telling me to wake up and tell her the same thing she's telling you today that basically, who was this woman? And this is all off of someone calling my phone like she just told you. And you talking about me doing a job by when we met, now you're doing it. You didn't tell me you showed up looking like a ninja. Thank you. Well... That's crazy. It's the woman that you called Becky earlier that we were talking about. So I was pissed. I was oh, mad. you mean the same girl the from the four-week pregnant girl? The same girl from the past. And that's how I knew where she lived. And that's how I was able to go over to her house. So, yes, I put my ski mask on. Ooh, the and fact I had that you my have weapon. a ski mask. Where y'all live? You live in Georgia. Your Honor, have... I got it for, when, during the pandemic when it first It's started. not mine, I can tell you that, because I don't own one, Your Honor. It's hers. Okay. As crazy as that sounds... Why would miscellaneous Becky from years past be video chatting you all these years later? First of all, I do sell shoes on the side. If so... he tells me something about <laughs> some shoes... So, in reality, I'm gonna be honest, Your Honor, people do reach out to me through all type of social media platforms to basically get shoes. She was calling me to try to get some shoes that... She can't get first... shoes from somewhere else. In reality, that's how I make my money, you know? Sir, and my wife this is this. Becky, 
from back in the day. Yeah, but Becky got money. Okay, but guess what? You have a wife. Mr. Hall. Yes, ma'am. If you know Becky is who caused you to almost not have a wife, why are you having anything to do with Becky? Becky is not Beyonce. She don't have that kind of money. I'm telling you that right now. If you lose one sale from Becky, your life is not gonna change. Somebody else will step in and give you that $39.99 or whatever the heck it costs. Yeah, yeah, That'll make know. no sense. How long have you been maintaining this shoe friendship with miscellaneous Becky? I mean, I cut it off immediately once the ski mask situation occurred. No joke! <laughs> because you could have woke up with a knife to your throat. Yeah, he didn't have a choice I, at that point. I mean, yeah. So you didn't cut off miscellaneous Becky 10 years earlier. You maintain That's where some sort of feels conversation. Though, guess, it, and it was a conversation. If someone called my phone and you pick it up and they're calling to, to buy shoes... You said you cut that off. Right. Why would she be able to get in contact with you 10 years later? Are you trying to suggest to me that over the past 10 years, miscellaneous trick Becky, who you told me was a two-hour trick... Yes, ma'am. Okay? ...is still hanging around to be able to get in touch with you. Mr. Hall, no, the math not ain't math. Around. I'm sorry. She wanted shoes. The math ain't mathing. She basically called herself coming to look for me and said I wasn't where I said I was, and I brought evidence today. I'd like to see the videotape. The rain or traffic not gonna stop me. I'm still on the way. Do not play with me. Your wife is coming unglued because she has no trust for you. If you'd like your case to be heard on Divorce Court, call us toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or log on to our website at divorcecourt.com. Missed a show? Watch full episodes on our streaming platforms and follow us on social media for exclusive content. She doesn't trust you because you're a liar. You lied. And you've been having contact with miscellaneous women. I'm not suggesting you're cheating. You might be selling shoes. I don't know one way or the other. But you're a liar. You don't tell her the truth. She has every reason not to believe you. I understand that, um... Even, Your Honor, it was one time even when she basically called herself coming to look for me and said I wasn't where I said I was, and I brought evidence today to submit that to the court if you allow me to show it to you. Absolutely. Now, tell me what this evidence is. Basically, I was um, going out again with my cousin, like, like, I, like I always do, and she didn't believe where I was, so she caught herself looking up my location and then pulling up to where I was. Yep, I and see And you, you have videotape evidence? Yes, ma'am, I do. I'd like to see the videotape. The rain or traffic not gonna stop me. I'm still on the way. Do not play with me. I'm surprised she don't go on that, that ski mask. This ain't your m in the house. When I park this shit, bring your ass outside. You got three seconds or I'm coming in. Imagine getting a phone call like this, Your Honor, and you at your cousin's house. I don't care what house you at. <laughs> Mrs. Hall, it's why control. are you letting somebody take you into this space? That's why I'm here, Your Honor, because I can't do it no more. Like, he is literally driving me crazy. Like, for one, when I called him, he didn't answer the phone, and I saw the location. I knew it wasn't his cousin's house. So that's why I sent him the message because he wasn't answering my phone calls or texts. So I sent him the actual video that I was on the way through social media. I had to do that because he wasn't responding to me. Do you realize that your wife is coming unglued because she has no trust for you? Yes, ma'am. And that's what brings me to court today to fight for my marriage. This is the only way that you're ever going to rebuild the trust after cheating. And you all... Help me with this little quiz. You have to make sure there's remorse. And I think Mr. Hall has tried to say he is so sorry. But your actions are not saying you're so sorry. You continue to do the kinds of things that make her not trust you. Okay. Those phone numbers in your phone... Are no longer... They don't there. show remorse. Miscellaneous Becky calling you on a FaceTime to buy shoes or anything else does not show remorse. Yes, ma'am. She should have been cut completely off. And the fact that you didn't is a problem. I apologize. And, Mr. Hall, you can't expect that Mrs. Hall is going to get over it if you continue to do the same kind of shenanigans. I gotta be honest with you. You need to learn how to practice some self-care. Yes, Your Honor. You're a beautiful, talented young lady. You don't need to be traipsing up and down the street in ski masks, 
driving around looking crazy as a mug, there is no man in the world worth you losing your dignity over. Okay? Mm -hmm. Under no circumstances. You, Mr. Hall, have to remove the temptations to re-engage in the affair. And you know what that means? Get rid of all that stuff in the phone. Yes. Okay? And if hanging out with your cousin is who you like to hang out with, make sure he acquiesces in the fact that you are not out here wilding. I'm willing to cut that off to show my wife that I actually want her to trust me. Well, you have to move forward with brutal honesty and transparency and care. Am I correct, Mrs. Hall? Yes, but he hasn't shown me that. No, he has not. In all honesty, you got to show me before you can tell me. Yes, ma'am. She can't rebuild trust with you until you are trustworthy. I agree now that I see it from another person's standpoint. Yeah. Mrs. Yeah, Hall? I apologize again. And another thing, I do want you to hear me say this. Mrs. Hall, a friend of mine was faced with the same situation where there was some cheating, but it was many, many years ago. And she decided to stay. And I gave her a piece of advice then that I'll give you now. If you decide to stay in this marriage, you cannot throw the cheating in his face every time you get mad. You can't. Now, it will take you some time, and I don't suggest that there is a timeline. He's going to say that he's going to do everything that he can to mend our marriage, yes. but I haven't seen anything yet to this day, so I'm tired. I have the papers here, and I'm ready to sign. Are now. you sincere in wanting to take a break from this marriage? Yes, Your Honor. May I see the papers, Robert? Sure. Thank you. Mm -hmm. When a partner says that they are done and trust has been broken, there are some very clear elements. They assume betrayal yeah. and they can't forgive. The trust is broken. Mrs. Hall has signed her name yeah, to this. All it needs is his signature. And that will begin the action. Now, I can legitimately tell you, I cannot force Mr. Hall to sign these papers, but I can 100% serve them for you. And once that is served, there's a transcript of that service, and you may move forward in a court of law. Your Honor, I'm not going to sign them. I'm, I can tell you now. Mr. Hall, yes, I'm going to give you the opportunity to appeal to your wife. And you need to talk to her. I feel like, um... We have a lot of history, and I think, yeah, I have made a lot of mistakes, but I don't think this is the right decision that you're doing. And I feel like we both love one another. And if I'm willing to come in front of the world and show you how I've made a fool of not only myself, but you as well, I feel as though with counseling and with some advice from Judge Starr, we can move forward if you give me the chance. I love you too, but not today. You can serve the papers, Your Honor. Robert, mm -hmm. serve the papers. Mr. Hall, you've been served. Mr. Hall, you've been honest enough to tell me you're not signing those papers, but Mrs. Hall has requested that they be served. She has every right to now move forward in a court of law as she decides that she wants to move towards a divorce. Yes, Your Honor. You need to work at rebuilding the trust I don't know if it's ever possible, but it's something that you're going to have to work on. And Mrs. Hall, you'll determine whether or not what he shows you while this is pending is enough for you to stop this process or to move forward with it. But for right now, you've been served. She was done, Robert. Mm -hmm. She was done when she wore the ski mask. Absolutely. I mean, a ski mask, a skull cap, uh -huh. driving around like a bad Lifetime movie. Let me tell you, some women either become vengeful, um, become free, uh -huh. but to look like a criminal? Well, I tell you what, I think the best thing that could happen to him mm -hmm. is that he signed those papers mm -hmm. because the next time, it might not just be a ski mask, if you know mm -hmm. what I mean. Be careful. Be careful. <laughs> Thank you.
made in Georgia. <laughs>